Welcome back to Renat and Chapego. Jason joins us on set. And as you know, Bad Granny has been making waves. And if you've not seen it, definitely check it. Jason's not only a car enthusiast, but he shows us the ins and outs, the do's and the don'ts. And oh, you get to see a lot of fancy cars as well. Jason, good morning. How are you? Morning. How are you going? Good. Jason was giving me some car advice earlier, so hence the laughing when we came on set. Um, you know, Jason, before we get into the show itself, because you have the educational school tour, Mm -hmm. There's now a huge discussion about the speed limit. There's now a huge discussion about driving safely in our country as a result of the road carnage. What are your thoughts? I mean, you are part of not only the racing circuit, but the car enthusiast circuit in our country. 80 kilometers per hour. Is it realistic? Is it the best option at this time? It's not realistic. Why is it not realistic? Because if you, because yesterday alone, I was driving on the highway, and I thought, if we did 80k, or if we did 40k, or 60k, like, I think, Kokorit, it's 50 kilometers an hour. Really? Yes. Look at the signs. 50 kilometers an hour. I think Shagramas is 40 kilometers an hour. If you try to drive at that speed in, in some of those areas, you'll never get to work. Yeah, but they're using safety as a, the realistic barometer. And they're saying that if you drive at 120, many people just cannot control their vehicles if there's something, if they have a blown tire, if you have... You can, because you're an experienced driver, as were our previous guest. But if you look at really what happens generally in the country, nobody travels at 80 kilometers. Maybe we should start doing so, don't you think so? Well, that'd be, you know, if they, if they say that's what we should do, well, yes. But I think one of the major problems in Trinidad of the carnage is one, people don't obey the road rules, which is nobody keeps left when you're going on the highway. So if you're going on the highway and you're driving, say, in the center lane, you'll find somebody's doing 80 or 70 in the, in the fast lane. So people swerve in and out to get around the cars at over 100 kilometers an hour, which is a dangerous practice, right? That's one. And two, the, 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 the fact of you going to get a license in Trinidad, a lot of people don't know the road rules, whether they say they get it because they, um, you can buy a license or whatever, <laughs> whatever it is. But I think how we test our drivers for um, vehicle skills and road skills when you're getting a license is a major problem. And that's it, really. The words there from the car enthusiast. Now, Jason, we're talking about Bad Granny's educational school tour. So we're now taking the show on the road? Yes, we are. And it's amazing. I mean, going to these schools and meeting these kids, it's, it's blew my mind. What are some of the questions that they ask you? I know I would have a million questions, because as you know, I'm horrible with these things. <laughs> well, some of the funniest questions is, I never see Bad Granny before. <laughs> <laughs> like I said, the teachers told me coming to visit, and you didn't go and check us out. I mean, a lot of them have seen Bad Granny, right. and um, it's funny. It reminds me of when I was in school and, and being a cheeky kid. You know, they have kids that give trouble, and they have, I guess, different kinds of trouble. They have trouble where they're just cheeky, and, and they have a lot of energy, and they're excited, and they have kids, of course, that just give you different kind of trouble. But I mean, it's amazing to deal with them. The questions they ask, some of them are funny. You know, they give me stress. They, they give me talk. And, um, but they're really enthusiastic to find out about what we're talking about, you know? And um, it's funny because some of the, the teachers, they think we're just there to come and talk about cars and speed and racing, where we're actually there to talk about what we do, how to get into the industry. Steph talks a lot about marketing and, and you know, behind the scenes and what it takes to run a company like that. And um, her being a young, pretty woman, dressed in a business suit, you know, well, the little guys love it, but yeah. girls a lot of time are, you can see them being empowered because yeah. all of them think, well, I have to be a girl and I have to do, you know, girly stuff. Girly yeah. stuff. And I always leave them with one thought, which is like I tell the girls, I say, well, one thing I'll leave you all with before I go. I said, do you know in racing, right, that it's been scientifically proven that girls have a faster reaction time than boys in drag racing? That's an interesting fact that you learn. And where's the next stop for the school tour? The next stop for the school tour is in Arima. 
And if uh, any of the school supervisors want to get in contact with you, any of the schools want to get in contact with you, how do they do that? Um, I believe I gave you... Uh, All of the information yes, should be, yes, info at badgrannytc.com. Yeah. So definitely check it out. Jason, your closing comments, because you have taken, I want to say congratulations to you and to Steph and the rest of the team, because you all have done, you've created a brand out of Bad Granny. I know, I know. <laughs> and, and I'm there asking little car tips, like, how do I know this and how do I know that? But your closing comments, because it's really about empowering people, not only getting the, the car lovers involved, but changing the way we look at vehicles and the industry itself, your closing comments. Well, dealing with the kids is amazing because uh, we get to deal at a younger level. I get to talk to them about road safety. I get to talk to them about racing on the street and motorsports. It's obviously be done, you know, on a track. And um, it's great to kind of meet them in the beginning and talk to them when they're young. You know, they kind of understand. They write us back. They love everything about us. And we normally leave. We get there with a quiet little group of people and we normally leave with they're so excited. We're looking happy. at it. That's obviously the beginning, but we yeah. saw some of the end photos as well. Yeah. Uh, so the information is on the screen, and this is not just about cars and racing and to all of the teachers looking. It's really about understanding the industry and making it marketable. And not everyone wants to be a doctor and a lawyer, and there's so many other lucrative yes, careers out there. Yes, that's what we try there. to explain to them. And that's what people must understand. So please remember that we have to change the cultural psyche. We take a short break. When we come back, we'll have more for you. Stay with us.